This is Twit. I had a great vacation. Obviously, Jerry and I just came back from Puerto Rico. Uh, we had a ball hanging out with Angel, Jim Brakal, and, of course, Ray Novak from ICOM. Uh, um, so, uh, since Gordo's not here tonight, maybe I have to take and fill in the spot for the short shot. So, go ahead and roll that video from uh, the Puerto Rico State Convention. So, Jerry and I have the pleasure of attending the Puerto Rico State Convention. There's a look at the hotel. Uh, a lot of the ham stayed at the Punta Maracayo. Uh, beautiful hotel, just steps from the beach. Uh, their property goes all the way up to the ocean, and there's a look at the ocean. As you can see, nobody's in the pool, hardly anybody in the ocean, and it was in the 80s every day. Uh, it was off season, so it's a good time to go to Puerto Rico. Um, and here we are getting ready for the show on Ham Nation from the Arecibo control room. And this is where we got to first meet a lot of the uh, gentlemen who are in charge of the planning committee for the convention and you can see me there in the control room well the next day we came back and here's a look at that same shot in the control room and you can see the gregarian dome and the platform out there that jerry and i get to climb and go inside and here's just a couple of photos to tease you because i'm going to do a full video on this because there was a lot of information that we learned uh, when we went up on the platform right there i'm about 550 feet above the thousand foot dish uh, dangling suspended from cable. Uh, it's pretty cool, uh, kind of scary, but uh, definitely worth the trip and a uh, lot of great photos and I had GoPro uh, camera on me the whole time. So uh, I'm gonna have a great video two weeks from now. There's a look at the broadband 430 megahertz antenna. That thing's over 100 feet long and huge. Doesn't look like it there. And uh, there we are down at the underneath the dish looking up at the structure. Now one thing cool you get to do at Arecibo that you don't get to do anywhere else, walk inside of a power supply. Uh, you get to do that at Arecibo. So get ready, that video is gonna be pretty cool and that's two weeks from now. But let's go back to the convention, which is uh, what we're talking about tonight. Now Thursday night, the planning committee had a special reception for its honored guests, which we were a part of. This is Maryland's, which is on the same property as the hotel, and it's right on the ocean, has a tiki bar and everything pretty cool. Friday night, they had an open reception, dinner, and award ceremony uh, for any hams invited to attend. So that was pretty cool. Uh, lots of us got great presents. Want to thank the team for that and uh, everybody had a pretty good time getting to meet all the hams in Puerto Rico and uh, they actually had it at one of the oldest buildings on the island and there's the whole planning uh, committee for the convention. They even had live music after the event. And of course Saturday's one of the two big days, it's Saturday and Sunday at the actual convention. And uh, of course, ARRL had to be there because it's the ARRL Puerto Rico State Convention. One thing unique about this one is it's free. When you come in, you just sign in with your name and your call sign and you're in. So uh, that was a cool bonus. Um, lots of great booths. There's the ICOM booth, obviously. And we also have Alpha Antenna. They were there as well as RNL Electronics. Lots of uh, vendors there. Um, Lots of deals to be had and uh, different th clubs and uh, obviously you have to have a card guy at, the, uh, at a convention. And uh, here's another look at the Alpha Antenna. And one thing I really noticed about this convention is a lot of people brought their wives and their kids. It was really a family event, uh, which made it really extra special. So hint, hint, it might help you grease the wheels with the XYL so you guys can go to Puerto Rico in January in the middle of winter. Uh, one thing cool about this, if you notice in the background, the QSLing of the future, uh, that's pretty interesting and I'm going to be doing something on that when I have a chance in the next few months or so. There's some homemade baked goodies and smoothies going on. Of course, you've got to have your uh, hen with uh, little chicks for sale. Not sure what that was all about, but there they were. <laughs> And of course, you have your classes or your forums. Uh, Jim Brakal did an OWA class, as well as uh, uh, Joe Taylor did did uh, a presentation, and along with Don Deso did one on tower climbing. And uh, they also have at the state convention an iron ham competition. Now this is unique in that it's not an operating thing. You have to do a fox hunt, build an antenna, 
and operates, so it looks for the true all-around ham. And here I am operating the Whiskey One Alpha Whiskey Stroke Kilo Papa 4 Special Event Station. And as you'll hear, it's very loud and very hard to hear there. it's a great place to get some good food sit down see some old friends make some new friends get some good deals um, a really nice convention they actually broke records had over 1500 people at the convention this year and angel wp3r won their version of a ham of the year award so that was really cool and of course lots of great prizes icom donated a 7100 and yezu donated a radio as well so uh, lots of good stuff at the convention now later that night saturday night they had a reception dinner and a dj uh, and you can see jerry and i enjoying the conga line by the way alcohol was involved in that one but really sincerely a special thanks to everybody at kilo papa four for putting on such a great state convention it's more than a ham fest it's a cultural event you really need to put this on your bucket list to attend at least once in your lifetime. And I want to give a special thanks to Oscar, Kilo Papa 4 Radio Frequency. He supplied me with most of the photos for this. So definitely worth going. Uh, highly recommend it uh, to at least go just once. Uh, beautiful weather, good time to get out of especially the northern region of the states in January. So uh, but that's all I've got for this week. And make sure you should tune in in two weeks because I got some great uh, stuff from the Arecibo Observatory. So on to DX. Uh, first slide I've got for uh, upcoming DX. This stuff's going on right now uh, through the next couple of weeks. We've got uh, Easter Island's going to be coming up, Guinea, uh, Rwanda, the, the uh, TL8 Tango Tango, the Central African Republic, that they're on the air right now. Uh, Bhutan uh, should be on today, and also Macau. Um, if you show the next slide, I, I kind of got it off DX World. They have that featured de-expedition timeline. So if you go to dxworld.net, um, they keep this so up to date. And you can click on this and get more details when you go to the website. So um, really cool. It tells you what days are going to be there and the call signs and you can click on it and get more details. But uh, um, so good DX coming up. And this weekend, uh, if you go to the next slide, we've got the WPX Ready Contest. Now that's a really big one. And that's what's really fun about this one is uh, it's not more points to work Europe versus working uh, your neighbor. Any new prefix is worth is a multiplier so if you work i'm i'm november victor nine if you you work me november victor nine lima you get uh me as points and a multiplier and then if you work on november victor nine x-ray you'll get points for him but you just won't get the multiplier and then november victor eight or kilo nine the first kilo nine are points and then the you know the second one's points but not a multiplier so you can work everybody uh from next door to around the world and it's a blast and it's it's a good way to get involved in ritty um also coming up not this weekend but the 17th through the 19th uh for those of you who like to chase those special events they're going to have the south america lighthouse weekend and uh, if you want to put that link up there brian it's all in spanish um, but you can go down and there is a list and, and, and when you click on those that one either one of those blue boxes there, the Faro 72017, those um, give the list of, oh, go back to the other one, the, the right one, I'm sorry. And um, that's the list and there's, a, I, I think I counted right, 48 lighthouses. So you can have a lot of fun chasing all those lighthouses on the 17th through the 19th. And that website is... Uh, GrupoDXBB.com and that's G-R-U-P-O-D-X-B-B like bravo bravo.com.ar. And that's all I've got.